What is up everyone? Hope you guys are enjoying your day so far. It is turning out to be a beautiful day so far. But honestly, if you guys want to know why I'm a little muted, I'm still not in my best state of mind. Because I had to hear more bull crap last night about my dad. Well, from my dad, really. I'll tell you about that in the next clip. Well guys, basically my dad was talking about how I shouldn't have done this, shouldn't have done that. When I had a right to stand up for myself after my half-brother and my stepmom picked a fight with me. And then there's the fact that he says he blames the foster families for me not doing enough around the around our current trash our current uh, nightmare of a home. I'm doing what little they actually let me do because a lot of the times when I do offer to help with something, their automatic answer is no, we don't they don't need help. They're good. And yet I don't do enough. I'm sorry, but that is not fair to me. And then uh, when I don't have a job, they get on me about that, but when my half-brother doesn't have a job, as he currently is, which is what he's current, the situation he's currently in, they don't, they don't give him grief about it. That is not fair. It's not fair. It's wrong. That I have to compensate for him being, for him letting his own temper get the better of him and walking out on a job. I didn't walk out of my uh, job at Family Dollar because of my temper. I walked out because that, that level of stress that caused was enough to send me back to the hospital. So I had to get out before it did. I have a, I have a condition, guys. You know about it. I've said something multiple times, and yet, everything's my fault. But yet, my father kept, t says last night that he blames the foster homes. Uh-uh. Not all my foster homes were like that. Not all of them were jerks that would just... That would just treat me like filth and crap like that. Few of them actually taught me a little bit about taking responsibility. Little by little, each day that I was with them. And yet he wants to blame them for my, uh, for 90% of my issues? No. 90% of my problems are because of my family. Expecting me to do more than, expecting me to do more when they keep telling me when I do offer it, that they don't need the help. It's ridiculous. So honestly, my, fa my family's full of a bunch of full of a bunch of hypocrites, freaking hypocrites. I'm done with this. So, my little punishment on them. From this point on, they can do every they they do their flea market stuff. They're on their own. And if anything, I'm gonna start working longer hours at work so they can't come after me. Which also means that I'm gonna switch my Saturday shifts to 9 a.m. and I'm gonna leave as early as possible to get up there and I'm not gonna come back until my shift is over and point out to them, oh, and then say things like, oh, I'm worn out, I'm worn out. I've been on my feet all day. I need to I need to sit down for a while. The same excuse they use for their own, for being lazy themselves. Give them and I give them a taste of their own medicine. I'm done with this crap, so I'm not going to just sit here and let them get away with it anymore. Now here's something I'm a little confused about. I don't know why they're putting these posts here. I don't know why. But this just... 
This is weird. I don't know what this is about. And yeah, I see they skipped around that again. Lazy, long care idiots. A lot of the Latinos and Hispanics are taking over that industry. Giving me more reason not to trust long care services anymore because a lot of these Latinos and Hispanics their efforts are usually half at. Their efforts are usually, and excuse my language on this, guys. And guys, just to let you know, this is not a racist comment I'm making. I'm just pointing out what I've observed. And it's irritating. If people want to view that as a form of racism, too bad. Because it's not. It's just me pointing out what I've noticed. Yeah, I don't know what kind of car was over there, but it sounds good. Sounds like a straight up hot rod. Or rat rod. But it's definitely coming from that dealership. Well guys, I just tried to call social services to figure out what happened to my food stamps. Got no answer. In fact, the first thing my phone did was a weird tone that usually comes with the territory when a phone number doesn't exist. So I'm a little unhappy. In fact, I'll try again and just let you guys hear it. And yeah, I'm going to put it on speaker. Monday through Friday. For your convenience, documents can be submitted outside of business hours and electronically. To email well, that's documents, not use what it was doing earlier. At Chesterfield.gov. Oh, this camera's starting to stick again on the lens shutters. But anyways, guys, I've been playing Call of Duty Mobile since I downloaded it earlier today. Let's just say that's actually a fun game. So honestly. I'm putting the. I did do a few recordings of the gameplay, so if you guys want to see what it looks like, I'm putting it up on my gaming channel. Hope you guys are ready for it. This really is a good game, really fun game. It doesn't have a story, but it's fun to play. And I actually did pretty good on quite a few matches. I was usually the highest rated player. Yeah, I wanted you guys to see the beauty of that. Look at that. 
That is beautiful. Yeah, it took a little bit, but I finally got to, got it to show in my my uh, Google Photos. And now the gaming videos are being uploaded to my computer so that I can actually create something out of them. Show you guys a little bit of what I do with uh, the uh, Call of Duty Mobile. It's actually a good game. Well guys, it is a work night, so I'm going to have to let you guys go here. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and smash that like button if you did. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my other channel. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel here and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of every new video on my channel. Also, guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my other channels. Links are in the bio, along with my social media, where you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want, and even send me a friend request on Facebook. I would also like you guys to check out my referral links for Epidemic Sound, Amazon Prime, Sanjay, and Fiverr. I'm also a freelancer on Fiverr, so if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my uh, seller profile if you want to know what I'm doing there. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed your day, and I'll see you next video.